Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How to charge back credit card. To initiate a chargeback, you must first identify the transaction you wish to dispute. This involves locating the specific charge on your credit card statement and understanding the reasons why you are disputing it. You will need to contact your credit card issuer to explain the situation. This can be done through various methods, including online through your bank's website, by phone, using the number on the back of your credit card, or via an online customer service chat. In some cases, you may need to submit your chargeback request in writing to the address specified for billing inquiries. When you contact your credit card issuer, you will need to provide details about the purchase, such as the date, the amount charged, and the reason for your dissatisfaction. The issuer will require evidence to support your claim, which may include emails, receipts, or other documentation. The credit card issuer will then investigate your claim to determine if it is valid. If they find your claim legitimate, they will reverse the payment made to the seller and credit the money back to your account. This process is essentially like undoing the transaction, so you are not responsible for paying for a defective or incorrect item. During the investigation, your bank may post a temporary credit to your account for the disputed amount or pause required payments and interest on the disputed amount. The merchant and their bank will have a period of time to respond to the bank's inquiry and provide their own evidence to counter your claim. It is important to note that chargebacks are not meant for every situation. They are specifically for cases involving fraud, merchant billing errors, or defective goods. Using chargebacks for reasons like buyer's remorse or transaction confusion can be considered misuse and may have serious consequences. Before filing a chargeback, it is often recommended to try to resolve the issue directly with the merchant. This can result in a faster resolution and avoid the lengthy and complex chargeback process. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.